and expectations. Our decisions to see a particular movie is almost always based on certain expectations, whether it's the publicity of the film or word of mouth, or maybe the genre is appealing. Hollywood producers and screenwriters assume audiences decide in the first 10 minutes whether they like a film or not. Even if we have no preconceptions before stepping into the theater, we form impressions very quickly once the movie begins. As the movie continues, we experience a more complex web of expectations. Many are tied to the narrative, and the narrative is the formal component that connects the events within the world of the movie and to our sense that certain events follow others, in other words, cause and effect. Oftentimes, a movie starts with a normal situation which is altered by a particular incident or catalyst that forces the characters to act in a pursuit of a goal. And we usually call that the initial incident or inciting incident. There is a, a playwright, a Russian playwright called Anton Chekhov, um, who lived in the 19th century. And he said, when an audience sees a character produce a gun in the first act, they expect that gun to be used before the play ends. In other words, we may see something which plants a seed and we start forming certain expectations or we anticipate what might happen. And that gets us to buy into the circumstances that we see on screen. In certain films, uh, we can see this. Uh, in Touch of Evil, which you'll watch, there's an explosion. A bomb is planted to a car, and that car explodes. So the expectation is, will Vargas track down the killer? In Jaws, at the very beginning of the film, we see a woman that's swimming get attacked by a shark. The expectation is, will Brody kill or catch the shark? Will the town be saved from this man-eating shark? Even as the narrative form is shaping our expectations, other qualities may help us out. The color scheme of films. Uh, sometimes they use different shades uh, in different scenes or to show different locations, like in the film Traffic. The sound or music can be used to form our expectations, like the Jaws leitmotif. Donna, Donna. Anytime we hear that, we are conditioned to expect the shark to make an appearance. The lengths of shots. If a shot is long and uncut, it causes us to anticipate what might happen. If things are very, very still, it gets us to think, what's going to happen? Who's going to win? Let's say it's a shootout like a, at, the, um, at high noon, right? And we have these two gunslingers. All that tension building up to the moment of violence gets us to anticipate is the sheriff going to win or is the bad guy going to kill the sheriff? And sometimes camera movement can also help shape our expectations. So we see that in films like Raging Bull. All these cooperate with dramatic events and dramatic elements to heighten or confuse expectation. And one way of doing that is by establishing patterns, which we'll see in a different lesson. <laughs>